Hey, what's going on, you guys? This is your host, Joseph Bonner, and welcome to today's show. So there's a lot of racial tension happening right now in the United States. It's kind of filtered over into the United Kingdom with situations happening over there. And, you know, wherever you live in the world and wherever you're listening to this podcast that you probably understand how racial tensions feel when you're in the community. And so today's show is really just to provide five ways that you can personally ease the racial tension in your community. Now, because the world is rapidly changing and it seems like racial tension is becoming the new norm in society, we want you to be able to positively deal with that. Have you ever kind of like just been walking down the street and we're like, you know, you walk past a member of maybe another race where all like the tension's happening with and you're kind of like, hmm, I wonder how they feel about me. Do they think they're better than me? And then we may start to have feelings of insecurity about our own self, you know, our facial expressions, how we look when we're whack- walking past these people. And these insecurities may work themselves in our hearts and come out like... We begin to have, you know, maybe a little bit of the ego where we have maybe a little overestimation of our self-worth feeling maybe that we're better than the people that we're walking past. And when that starts to happen, it, it, you know, honestly, it's it's natural to respond to insecurities by compensating with pride. However, it's something that we have to work against because it's not a healthy thing. So here are a few positive ways that you can ease racial tensions and then maintain a positive view of yourself and the individuals of another race in your community. So number one, remind yourself of the good in you. Now, one of the best ways to maintain a positive outlook on life when the world is beset by racial divide, is to remind yourself of the good in you. So take a moment, make a list and write down the positive things about yourself. The list should include things about yourself that are, you know, truly noteworthy, that reflect well on your desire to live in an inclusive community. Now, the more you remind yourself of the good in you, the less insecure you will feel as you hear negative things being spoken about your race in the media or in the public eye. So number one, first, take care of you. Remind yourself of the good in you. Now, number two, remind yourself of the good in others. Try to remember that one bad person or even a hundred bad people from one race does not necessarily reflect the attitude and actions of an entire race of people. (laughs) So take the time to make another list. Now, the second list is going to be of the good qualities you see in members of another race that you perhaps are maybe feeling more uncomfortable or tense around right now. Now, on this list, I want you to cite specific positive experiences you've had with members of that race and how those experiences have contributed to the overall good of the community and maybe the overall good of your own work or school environment. So make that second list. Remind yourself of the good in others. Now, here's number three. Now now that you've done reminding yourself, now I want you to get to work. Number three, do good to others. Find a positive way, maybe to volunteer or do something nice for a member of another race in your community. It could be something as simple as maybe buying a cup of coffee for the person behind you. It could be like a genuine compliment or even just a simple smile as you walk past them. You're making a difference in your own small way to remind others that not everything they hear about in regards to members of your race is true. You are also making someone else's day and that will make you feel really good inside. Now, here's number four, a really, really big one, and this is avoid negative people. At times, you may be around individuals who speak disparagingly of members of another race. Maybe they're in your inner circle, or maybe you're watching it like on a a podcast or hearing it on a television program. When that happens, it becomes a true test of your character. Are you going to join in? Are you going to remain silent? Or are you going to speak up and call out the ignorance? Now, regardless of how you respond, it's important to note that those we associate with regularly begin to have an influence on our thinking and emotions. That being the case, 
We want to cut off close association with those types of negative people. You know, doctors sometimes have to amputate like body parts in order to save a person's life. So we may need to do something similar with negative people. Cut them out of our circle. Refuse to watch their programs and even refuse to comment on their social media statuses. By taking such a firm stand, you are not allowing yourself to be drawn out into pointless debates with the ignorant individuals who may never have any no real desire to even change. Don't waste your time. The association and conversations will no doubt leave you feeling discouraged, angry, and overall unhappy. So save yourself. Cut them off. Last but not least, number five, don't try so hard. Now, obviously, it's natural for all of us to want to be loved and accepted by people. And sometimes, you know, and you've probably seen it in, in school or in the media where sometimes people will attempt and do foolish things to be accepted by members of another race. Now, that can sometimes be a bit embarrassing as we kind of watch them make those decisions or, or make those comments. And what they begin to do is actually alienate themselves from everybody. Don't do that. It's important that you never jeopardize your health or your safety or even your self-worth just to try to make other people happy and just to fit in. Now, the good old adage to be yourself applies perfectly in this instance. You will attract the right people at the right time. So stay true to the goodness in you and remember your self-worth. So although racial tensions are high right now, you still have a measure of peace and self-worth and you can apply these top five suggestions in your life right now and it's going to have a positive influence not only in your life but also in the life of others. And guess what? The world will be a better place because of you. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us for today's episode. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions about today's show, you guys can always reach out to me on social media at Mr. Joseph Bonner. Until next time, you guys, stay amazing, stay positive, stay happy, and don't feed into the racial divide. Continue to make a difference in your own small way. Take care, you guys.